Hey, young people. So this woman's in jail for identity theft, and she gives birth to her baby. And she was in jail, I think, for two weeks. But after her baby was born, she bailed out. Uh, why did she bail out before? Maybe she wanted free medical for her baby born. Uh, nobody's addressing that issue. They're only addressing how mean uh, the jail was for not coming in there. And since the agency changed their policy after this, it tells me that they probably thought the deputies didn't handle it right, but since they didn't violate policy, they couldn't do anything. Listen to the story. Found in this video, but the facial expression of Diana Sanchez speaks loudly enough. She told Denver Sheriff deputies at 5 a.m. she was in labor. By 9.43 a.m., her water had broken. She doesn't look to me like she's panicking or I'm in labor. So she may have been seen by a doctor several times. We don't know the whole story. We're only getting what the media is pushing. She may have been seen by a doctor several times as hollered wolf, has trying to get pain meds, is trying. We don't know, but for some reason, she was ignored on this day. But when deputies told nurses, Diana's attorney says their indifference was mind-blowing. The failure to provide care to a woman who is in labor and a baby who is born. Uh, oh, so it's about a woman in labor and a baby being born. It's not about a woman who gets pregnant and then gets arrested and is in jail while she's pregnant. That's not the problem. The problem is everyone else's fault. Okay, I got it without any medical assistance in a dirty jail cell. This is not civilized. We're going to show you with the video blurred that at 10.44 a.m., nearly six hours after Sanchez begged for medical help, she gives birth to a baby boy. Moments after little Jordan is born, you finally see a male nurse walk in who's been watching from outside the cell. Picks up the baby as though he's never seen one. Well, first of all, nurses that work in the jail are not pediatricians and they probably haven't seen a lot of babies born. So not knowing what to do or not reacting, I, I think the guy picks the baby up, he checks it, and he holds it until an ambulance comes. I mean, I'm not too upset with how they handle it after she had the baby. I don't know all the facts before, how much she said, etc. So again, I always take, especially being Denver, liberal left, uh, I always take it with a grain of salt that they're going to push the poor, uh, you know, woman issue or minority issue or any other liberal issue that doesn't fit their agenda. In his life, I mean, the lack of any sort of compassion uh, is astounding. The problems. Well, if you're her attorney and you're so compassionate, why didn't you bail her out when you knew she was pregnant? Why did you leave her in jail, Miss Miss Passionate Attorney? Why didn't you bail her out? You had that ability. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm getting paid. I got a job. That's my money. I just want to spend everyone else's money. Typical liberal. Solvers first spoke to Diana Sanchez a year ago, just weeks after her son was born. I felt helpless. Nobody was helping me. There's so many people there and nobody. Did you feel helpless when you were stealing people's identity and stealing their money? I mean, you got a pretty freaking nice house here, it looks like. Did you buy all that with your stolen identity money? Oh, I, I got it. You bought that with the money you saved and hospital fees for having a baby. Okay, I got it. Lifted a finger, basically. The awful memory of giving birth in jail, she told us, will never go away. That pain was just some, it's indescribable. Well, of course it's going to be pain and indescribable because she still has a lawsuit. As soon as the lawsuit's over, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Rick, you can't say that. Oh, I'm just telling you my opinion, people. You don't have to agree with it. And what hurts me more, though, is the fact that nobody cared. After an internal investigation, the Denver... Nobody cared. You mean like you went out committing felony crimes while you were pregnant and you ended up in jail while you were pregnant? Is that the kind of people that you don't... Is that what you're talking about, not caring? Because I'm confused. Sheriff's Department determined its deputies did nothing wrong. Denver Health would never say what, if any, action it took against its nurses. Diana's federal lawsuit says it's time to hold the deputies, the nurses, and the city of Denver accountable. That means we want money. That means taxpayer money. Because this woman went out and committed a crime when she was pregnant, 
now the taxpayers have to pay her. I mean, we really need to get a hold of politicians and say, once you commit a crime, you lose all ability to sue anybody as a result that happens because of what you committed that crime. That needs to be law. And, I mean, it's just outrageous that people are getting rich for committing crimes and taxpayers are picking up the bills. Any lay person can see that a woman who has been in labor for hours and hours and who is yelling, calling that she's in labor and needs to go to the hospital, needs to go to the hospital. Pick up the phone, call 911. Call 911. Diana was in custody for an identity theft charge, but bonded out after her son was born. Bonded out after her son was born. Well, that was convenient. Rick, you can't say that. Maybe she was just... Saving money. Okay, yeah, she waited in jail two weeks to save money to bail. That's it. Denver Health says patients are its number one priority, but won't comment on the lawsuit. The Denver Sheriff says even though it found no wrongdoing by deputies, it's clarified its policy so that when an inmate is in labor, an ambulance will be called. So they probably haven't had somebody in labor. Normally, if you commit minor offenses and you're pregnant, they will cite and release you. They will say, sign this promise to appear and let you out. The fact that they held her tells me her crimes were, uh, were more of a serious nature that they didn't want to let her out. Either she had failure to appears, she ran, maybe she was illegal, all kind of issues that why she wasn't in jail. Because most pregnant women are released from jail unless there's reasons not to release them. Just for this reason. So policy probably didn't address what to do with pregnant women in labor. And now the sheriff says, you know what? Let's put in here, if a woman says she's in labor and she's pregnant, we'll call, we'll spend taxpayer money, we'll have an ambulance come, even though she cries wolf a hundred times, we'll just do it. Because it's not our money. We'll just raise property taxes and make the stupid taxpayer pay more. We'll open the borders so we get more people in. And that'll fix the problem. We'll vote liberal Democrats so they can grow government because more government always fixes the problems. Whatever. All right, we'll end out there.